was I going to say? Well, let me show you. I'm going to turn this around because I don't remember what clips I got. I haven't made any, posted any. But we are officially on the site. Can you check it out? Can you check it out? We're right here. We're right here. We are on the site. We're ready to go. We're panicking. And I don't know. <sighs> okay, so we're going to peel this off. Just to see what it looks like. Satisfying peel with me. Are you satisfied yet? Is this, um, tooting your horn? I don't know. What do people say? <gasps> this girl's all dressed up. <laughs> Look at this outfit of the night. <laughs> anyway i'm closing it up here yes i am closing it up i am not going to say i'm closing it up and then come back on here in an hour and a half like last night and say so do you remember that i said i was gonna close up the vlog well i didn't like that's unacceptable i, I just can't do it What is this? Getting old and the stress of this week is not helping. So it is, um, well, I mean, what, five hours from the last time I picked up a camera? It's actually late. It is 10.06 and we're Friday, March 4th. Let me get this angle going. Um, feeling tired from last night. That's why I need to start going to bed early. I don't have my contacts in, but I did just take a shower and put this shirt um, back on because I like, I know the, was it the very first, maybe it was the second day of um, vlogging and recording this journey that I was wearing this shirt. And then I went through I thought there was five shirts that I have, um, that I've made for myself. I haven't made every shirt that I have on my shop for myself. I just haven't done that. Um, but when I realized that and I'm like, what am I going to wear? I have to wrap my merch so that people can say, what you got on? What, who, where we find that? Like I did, I went into Publix one time and actually this shirt she said she loved it, and where did I get it from? And then I was like, I made it. I forgot where I was going with this. Yes, so the Etsy shop is on the, um, like the last box, the last link on my links page. And why didn't I just tell her that? She was older, and I'm thinking, it wasn't too long ago that I was like, what? I... I Desiree knows. I, I need to stop talking about Desiree because this really makes me seem like the biggest loser. Like she's your best friend. She's your soulmate. She's your what? Like, I don't understand why you won't stop mentioning her name. Are you guys twins? What's happening? Um, is, is, is there a thing as like a soul friend, soulmate, soul friend, soul sister, soul sister. I feel like that's what we are. Soul sisters. Sister from another mister. No, no, definitely not. So, <clears throat> and I'm getting sidetracked. And she's actually texting me right now. So, like, Desiree, I just can't. Like, the next time somebody asks if we're best friends, just say yes. Just say yes to make me feel better that I have a best friend. And that it's not just my husband or myself or somebody I'm related to. Because I need a life. I need a life outside of... Like, I need a friend. I need a friend. I got a friend in you. Oh, no. It's you got a friend in me. What is happening? I'm done. I'm cutting this intro. The whole point of me getting on here is because I'm going to do a get ready with me psych. More like a put my contacts in with me because I did not do that. Do you see? My eyes are brown. But we wear purple. And why? Because they're hot. Coming to you live from my home office. So I had to put you on hold because my husband is currently stranded in the middle of nowhere. In the mud flat in the middle of nowhere. Because 
his, which is probably the, is it P and B D P B and D P B and J um, kill switch is not working. Something about the truck keeps shutting off. I don't know anything about trucks. I don't know. I don't know about kill switches. I mean, I know what a kill switch is. I couldn't tell you where to find it. I couldn't tell you what they look like. And I couldn't tell you how much they cost until just now. Because it's going to be very expensive to fix it. But this is why truck drivers that are self-employed versus... I'm sorry. Truck drivers that are... That have their own authority. And that are self-employed. What? That have their own truck that do not work like under a corporate company and get paid by the mile and all that make more money than someone that's able to turn their company truck in at night and if something breaks they just tell the you know the company and the company gives you a replacement no we don't have a replacement we have one truck so you know five hundred dollars in labor later plus i don't know how many hundreds or thousands of dollars she spent last night probably in the part or or i don't know But he's in Kansas City, and he just called me, giving me an update. So that's why I had to put y'all on hold, because family comes first. Always family comes first. Look at all this crap. I've got, um, I have a lot of stuff that I wrote on here the other day is done. Keychain backing cards, check. QR code, check. DK Kane's QR code round sticker check custom thank you stickers checkity check yeah like t-shirt and hat thank you cards with QR t-shirt and hat thing oh wait custom thing yes thank you stickers and then the T those are these these and these now the washing instructions that's why I put a picture of a shirt because who the heck is going to turn Garmin inside out on a hat? Do you turn a hat inside out when you wash it? No. Can hats even turn inside out? I don't think so. But I'm pretty sure you don't want to use bleach or fabric softeners or lay to dry or tumble on dry. Like who dries their hats in the dryer? What we do and do not iron over the time. Nobody irons their hats. So this, this might not make sense for a hat. Might not make sense. But I still want to put my tag on it. So maybe I'll have to do some of these thank you with the QR sticker with no washing instructions. This was the thing. I was trying to save time and all that, but I still haven't figured out that extra space. So I'm debating whether or not, like I should have just placed an order through Canva or Staples or somewhere and just done it that way because it's starting to become more of a task than I like need it to be. That shouldn't be, it should be on the to-do list, but it shouldn't be like considered an entire project. That's going to eat up my, my whole week. No. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry if I keep clearing my throat. That's just a thing. I don't know what it is. It's, it's, I, I had a coffee, one of those iced coffee. I know there's milk in it, so maybe it's that. But no, it's even when I brush my teeth, when I drink water, it's just it's like a lot of like drainage. I don't know. So, if it grosses you out, I'm sorry. But that's what this channel is going to be all about. Raw, real, and uncut. And I'm not going to edit every time that I clear my throat on camera so just I don't know put it on mute or just don't watch my videos so I'm sorry I, I'm, I'm really sorry I don't mean to do it but I, I, I can't edit it for the sake of your you being comfortable watching my videos because this is my channel not yours and as I said before I want people here that want to watch it for the full raw reel and I've, I've seen worse I've seen a lot worse on channels, so it's okay. It's not like I'm picking my nose or using the bathroom. We're not. So what I'm doing here is I'm cleaning up um, my desk because I have to do um, some convert kit work. A lot of convert kit work. I have to do that. So I'm just cleaning up so that I have space to do what I'm doing. I did say I was going to do these decals, didn't I? I am going to offer, so on top of the blanks that I have, on top of these that we're going to do on the spot, 
meaning, you know, we're going to have the letters cut out and stuff that we're going to just, it's going to be easy. My son can do it. My husband can do it. Desiree can do it. Anybody that's, that has free hands at the time that somebody's like, can I get that keychain with this letter on it? Is going to be able to do it because each individual letter is going to be on already um, its own little square. It's sized out everything. It's going to be so easy. And then when, if we start noticing that they're running out, we can cut more while we're working. So I did this in white originally. You probably can't even see. So it says, I got my, I got my beaches out in Florida because we're not from Georgia. And what am I going to say? I got my oranges out in Florida. I got my oranges out in Florida. That is so stupid. So we have beaches. I got my beaches out in Florida. Oh yeah. And it's kind of like a, a pun. Uh, uh, it's not a pun. Beaches can mean can mean many things so yeah we're just gonna use that I think it's cute if it's tacky and it's like totally mom like Facebook mom type of thing as my son calls it <clears throat> only Facebook moms do that well I'm not on Facebook so you can't call me a Facebook mom if I'm not active on Facebook so I have that I have this one small business gigantic dreams this is what I'm talking about do you see the a do you see the closure as Heat Transfer Express refers to it as the closure in the A in the word dreams, it wasn't closure. I think I just forgot to, like, the Cricut didn't cut it well. And I could have taken an X-Acto knife and cut it, but then I, I don't even think I realized it. But look how tiny that heart is in the word business. The heart, okay? So this is why weeding for keychains weeding these small designs remember i was telling you <clears throat> the name walla walla bing bang is probably not gonna fit on this and look decent because you would have to do it walla walla bing bang and like who wants to see that you'd have to do it all the way across it's never gonna fit never because these are pretty small that one then hustle like no one's watching <clears throat> there's that one and I have these already in Cricut, ready to go, ready to go. I am doing that today. I'm doing it. I'm going to do that while I'm working on ConvertKit stuff. I'm going to have this stuff cutting because I, all I need to do is feed in the, um, the vinyl. So small business owner. When I look at this, I'm like, do I like those big fonts? Like I could have done small business and then owner, like small business owner. And that heart is so chopped up, like what was i thinking did i chop that myself that must have been something that cricket didn't cut right hello followers friends and followers friends and fans so i don't know what's going on with my cricket i've been saying that i'm gonna get my start working it's now 1201 like what is happening i have these two i decided i'm gonna start with coral and this is not this is like not the teal one this is the light blue i think it was cricket and oracle 651 so i have six inches of each and i want to change i don't want all of them because that file that i got i need to plug my phone in but that file that i got um for free off of the website that i clearly still have not linked anywhere that i haven't mentioned has to um, it has different stuff like it doesn't just have one brush stroke on it Please excuse my being close to the camera. I just I want to talk while I'm doing this. All right. I plugged that in Let me get under my desk and plug that in We're in business we're in business we're always in business this I don't so this is the how many brush strokes are there to choose from? There are a lot. There's like five or six. I really liked this one. I like the horizontal. It leaves enough space on the top and on the bottom to where it's not like the entire back is painted. But this one that I'm looking at has, oh, oh, well here, see how great this is. Let me just flip it and see if it's good. Ta-da. However, it's not really great. That is the one that I'm working with right now. Show me what you're working with. Cause that and this are not the same, right? Like this is horizontal, more of a horizontal design. 
that looks like it's going to take up a lot of the keychain. Oh, well, this is a great comparison, right? So this here will take up more keychain, so I have to be mindful because you can't cover the hole. So what we're going to do is cut, um, use that that other that different breaststroke. There's also a heart one, but I want it to be not so gender specific. Um, I've made things before, and my son is like, that has hearts on it. Oh, I'm not going to use it. So hearts, apparently hearts and um, script, like cursive writing, is all feminine things. So we're not going to use them. But um, not here, not right now. But I am going to offer that in my shop. I'm going to offer all of those. Um, I keep calling them keystrokes. It's not a keystroke. A keystroke is like a stroke on a keyboard. Like, that's a keystroke. It's it's a keychain brush stroke. Just just get the terminology right, because apparently I can't. So if I case if I say keystroke at any point, it's it's I it's short for keychain brush stroke. So I will offer those different ones in my shop. I will have the cut files ready to go. So whenever someone places an order, I'm not trying to scramble to find it like I was trying to do these things. So I'm gonna apply and continue. image and yeah I just want to come on here I'm gonna put this into um, the same is it the same canvas it is the same canvas so I'm gonna use this kind of as a template I still have that circle why like look how big this comes in please why does this come in so big then I have to zoom out like a thousand percent and I can't I still can't even see it so now I have to scroll down scroll over and grab this and shrink it down. I don't know why they come in. I'm glad that they come in at high quality, but it doesn't need to cut. It's way beyond any matte size that would even, that a, a Cricut doesn't even go that size. I don't know. So then we gotta zoom back in, still shrink it down like a thousand percent, but I'm gonna use that same circle that I used for, okay. So I can use this and just kind of guess where, because I know how much space. Where is that circle at? I think I put it behind everything. Circle. Let's bring the circle back. And let's see how the circle compares. So that's how the circle, this is a horrible angle. Can I just, I should do a screen share, but we all know how that goes. I promise you things about screen shares and then they never happen. So that is the um that's what it's going to be for right now okay so with that that's this is a two inch keychain ring this is how it fits on it right now and with this new one i don't want it to be super small but i want it to be take up most of the vertical area at least i think that looks great and then again we want to also be able to use these for the hexagonal keychain so i don't know how that works if i'm gonna have to turn it um, I'm gonna cut it like this, and if they only fit on the round, then so be it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. So what I'm gonna do is turn this back around. First of all, and first of all, zoom out. Like, what are we doing? Turn you back around, and I'm gonna hide the entire back layer that I've attached. So I've attached all the other brush stro brush strokes together, and the reason for that is because if you don't attach them. All together and then you send it to when you press make it it's gonna send it to like the mat and it's gonna size it however it wants to the mat and it it shifts everything the whole reason is I've laid everything out exactly how I want it on the mat so you have to attach it in order for it to stay exactly like that when you click make it this is the problem of why I can't concentrate because of this this is why this is why I can't concentrate because she's the best thing I've seen all day besides my kids. Uh huh, Dorothy, you gonna help me with my work? Gonna help me with my merch? I would love to do hamster merch and not like for the hamster to wear the merch. I want to do merch that has hamsters on it. Like she can be my logo. So she's going to spend the day with me. We're bringing the cage in and she is going to, it really needs to be cleaned, but she's going to spend the day with me. So let's get her situated. 
we're gonna do this and we're gonna get it done i don't want to keep recording all day i actually i don't know if anybody else does this but i actually watch my videos while i work is that is that disgusting or what that is like who does that but the reason why i do it is because i don't have time to sit there after the fact like yes i'm gonna have to sit there and edit them but if i can determine now what i am and am not gonna use i can like delete that clip right now and then clear the storage out of my phone and prevent it from um taking over right like taking over my storage so i i don't watch myself to be like oh my god her content is so great but if i said something really dumb which is very highly likely then i'm gonna just i'm just gonna get rid of that clip right then and there if i if it's something that i can't use why would i keep it i might send it to my friend but like i'm not gonna keep it and post it as content not doing it so yeah i watch my videos i watch myself talk about nothing talk about the same work that i just did and that's okay so we have turned the cricket off i restarted my computer went to get lunch because I, I i needed to come out of these walls when stuff like this happens if you don't step away you're gonna drive yourself nuts so i'm here eating the worst the worst and i'm supposed to be on a diet i mean like i'm always on a diet every day of my life it's supposed to be a lifestyle change well i don't know what's changed but let's try to pick my projects hope this works i'm not gonna open anything else i'm not gonna have chrome open nothing anyway i've got like the worst meal i have a big mac from mcdonald's no pickles but a big mac big mac with no pickles and we're just we're just trucking along that's all there's just too much who has time to worry about a diet right now i needed to get out still buffering though I don't know like I don't know why anyway I'm gonna cut the camera off I just wanted to give an update we're back we're eating lunch we're trying to find out um, what's causing this to happen 93% CPU what is running you know the text expander running Microsoft Office click to run running there it's showing three cricket design space applications open why there isn't, and that's the thing that drives me insane. It says Cricut Design Space desktop application, 32-bit, and then it has four in parentheses. Like, there's four different, and then if you click the little arrow, it shows that there's three open. There is not three open. You can open three, and that is another hack that I'm going to share. That Somebody said, how can I, um, how can I work in, like, if I have several crickets, if I have three crickets, how can I cut all at the same time from the same computer? How can I have them all cutting? Apparently you can open, so if you're in Cricut, you have one open and one's cutting, you can like type in your search Cricut and open the app again in another window and connect that one to the next Cricut. And like, you're, that's how people have, like who has time to be buying? If you have five Crickets, are you gonna have five desktops, five laptops, an iPad, like all these things going? No, you're not. You're gonna use that hack and it's gonna work. So, we're seeing. Connect machine, please wait. We're gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna hope, oh, that's why. It's not on. Not That's not why, but it's recognizing it. Holy moly, please. I need it to work. So we're gonna come back on here. I'm gonna stuff my face with this burger, not on camera, because that's disgusting. And it's recognizing it. Ah, ah, so if you're having trouble with your cricket being recognized or it's just it's like saying that it's searching and please wait don't wait because you'll waste a lot of time so try closing cricket design space try unplugging your um cricket from um power peer don't just turn it off unplug it unplug it from the back all of it unplug it from your computer just unplug anything that might be trying to connect it to anything cut the life support off of it then in my case, I tried it again, didn't work. So I restarted my computer. 
I restarted it. I went away. <laughs> I went to lunch. I let it kind of, my computer is a little bit older, so all the applications in the background take a while. Like, and if you, if as soon as your screen comes up and you're like, Google Chrome, like it's, it's going to like psych, it's going to, it's going to get crazy. It's going to start stroking out and like, I just I can't. So it's working now. I will verify it's working. Premium vinyl, permanent glossy. Yes. More pressure. Yes. Feed. Yes. It's feeding. Speaking of feeding, I'm hungry too. Feed me. I'm poor. Here's my lunch. Is that not the greatest looking burger right now? This is cutting. This is working. It's cutting. I need to get working. But it's still saying that all these crickets are open. That now that there's eight. Now Cricket has eight things. Console window host. Can a Cricut Canvas application. Cricut Design Space version, whatever. Two Cricut Design Space desktop applications at 32-bit. And then some other nonsense. I don't know what it is. Kind of like Adobe when you just have a do like Creative Cloud open and then you have 60s. Like right now, Adobe Update Service is open. Is is, is running. I, I don't know what it is. So we're going to stop laughing. I'm going to see if I can manage to open up Chrome at the minimum while I'm um, got this going. It's 27% cut right now. It's working fast. We need to do the same. So I'm going to come back after I'm done eating lunch and show you the progress. Okay, it's about two seconds later. Two seconds. The cricket's been cutting fast. Or either that or I just talked all through the last... Big Mac sauce on my mouse. Oh god, that's gross. How did it even get over there? I wasn't. I don't feel like I was touching my mouse when I was. What is going on? I can't stand that when it gets in like the cracks. Well, not it, because I, I don't eat Big Macs that often. Where it's like getting in all kinds of cracks all the time. That's like. Anyway, the whole point is, when food or some kind of like, whatever gets into like the fine, like crevices of life keyboard like have you ever turned listen turn your keyboard upside down and bang it on the desk and tell me how many crumbs you can count if you can't count them because there's so many of them you're a slop <laughs> like i am can we just see this unnecessary unnecessary amount of like what are they eyelashes they're like eyelashes and crumbs i didn't know about this until yeah it's like a pile of like i don't know dust and things so i didn't know about this until i was working i forgot where i was working but i was working somewhere and whoever, like, I feel like my coworkers or something were just nasty. They would always eat at the desk and, of course, use my computer when I wasn't there. Because it was a, a, the company's computer, but my desk, the manager's desk. And people would sit there when I wasn't on shift. And then I'd come back and be like, this computer, this keyboard looks disgusting. So I'd wipe the top of it, I'd wipe underneath it, and then I'd turn it upside down and everything that they were like dribbling over the keyboard would fall out. And it's so gross. Nobody sits at this computer here but myself. And it wasn't that bad. But like, if I'm like consistently losing eyelashes and, or maybe they're arm hairs. No, they're too, they're too dark to be arm hairs. My arm hairs are light. So they're eyelashes. Like maybe I'm just rubbing my eyes too much at my desk or something, but why are they flying into the keyboard? I want to show you something. This cricket, does this happen to anybody else? It, let me see what the, it says 100% cutting. So it says 100% cutting. However, take a look at this. It is not saying to eject. It's not saying that it needs help. So what I do, I don't know if this is wrong or right. I shut it off and I turn it back on and it's gonna kick the mat back out. And then it says, please check that your machine is connected. So if it's 100% cut, it's supposed to let you know that it needs to be, I hope it finished. 
Yes, and these look amazing. Why does it have this line on it? It's like part of this is glossy. What is this? Part of the, the vinyl is glossy, but then it looks like some of it lost its shine. It's so weird. It's like a totally different texture on one area. Part of it's shiny. Anyway, and that's only the blue one. But I love to peel this away. Like, I just, it's so freaking fun. And that means I'm that much closer to making that many more keychains. Right? Everybody say right. You need to see this. You need to see this. What do they call? What is? What is the trendy thing? Satisfying peel. Satisfy peel. Peel. Peel with me. This is a peel with me. This. Okay. Just bear with me on the setup. You know I'm new to this. You know that this is not my thing. But I'm recording this for you. And my husband is in the background judging my tacky videos. Not in a bad way, just critiquing it. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna peel this off just to see what it looks like. Satisfying peel with me. Are you satisfied yet? Is this um tooting your horn? I don't know. What do people say? <gasps> I do want to figure it out so I can send more to cut and continue working. So I just wanted to show you the satisfying peel of my vine. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. This is the actual blade. It's a blade. How this comes out is, I guess you push on this and you pull. People watching this are going to be like, you are like the loseriest loser. Like, of course that's how you do it. Watch a tutorial. This is what I was confused about. So that's the same as what I thought that's because that part's the only part that's showing so I said oh that's so that's wrong I'm like oh, I ordered the wrong thing I didn't I didn't order it I didn't order the wrong thing so I'm going off topic the whole point is we need truck drivers so I'm hoping to meet um people who know people who know people who have trucks that have a fleet of trucks and then they need our services because that would be great because then with services you can it's not like the products the products you have to buy ahead of time. Not the products, the materials to make the products. You need the vinyl. You need the ink for your printer. Like today I'm like, should I order backup ink? Like it's it's just a lot to keep track of. Like nobody ever said owning a business was easy, but this is starting to become so real. So <laughs> I still have vinyl everywhere. Do you see that? I think it's even worse than last time. We've got Dorothy over there in her cage. We've got the hat still sitting there. The koozie's still sitting there. And all the crap still sitting there from yesterday. But we are... We've got that vinyl here for the letters. Um, and I'm ordering... I, update. Another update. We are not doing the rose gold. I don't know if I said that in my last clip. But we're not doing rose gold. That turned out to be a hot mess. Meaning I can't find... Like... You can buy the lobster clasp, so you can buy the ring part, and then you can buy like a screw. I didn't know there was so much going into keychains. I just was losing my brain. So the way my keychains are, you've already seen them have like I I get the tw um, pliers and grab that little ring, right, the tiny ring, and then I feed that ring into like the chain part that's attached to the key ring. Well, some of them don't have that tiny thing. It's like like a screw. Like you're supposed to take like take it and screw it into something. Like if I wanted to turn this into a keychain, they're telling me, okay, it comes with the rose gold clasp, the lobster clasp, the ring, and then a screw that will go like in the top of his head and screw down in there so he can dangle from the thing. I'm not doing that. Like show me something that I'm searching for. Show me what I typed in, but no, it's bringing up anything and everything that's not related to what I need. So I said, screw the rose gold. I'm not doing it. Talking to myself. Oh my God. 
there's no way. Like, I, I think because I added a quantity of three for the, I didn't want to spend even a hundred. I had my cart was like $50 when I looked. But I, so I had to buy a jewelry rack. Jewelry. Jewelry. Thank God we didn't get the RV. What a bust that would have been. Like, I, stress, stressful. This is the best idea by far. My trapper keeper from high school. No, this is from college, I think. When I worked at Walgreens, they like had these on sale or something like that after like one of the back to school things. Okay, let me just take this out and show you. Because we're all about educational content. So I want to say, you can't even see really well. This is the best. So I'm in love with a fisher. This takes up, see how the design comes all the way up here. But, I mean, you don't have a choice because the main part of the design is right here. But this dips down, this dips up. So this whole area, let me measure it. I don't want to, um, I don't want to put this over something. And then, this is what I do. I know I showed this in another one, but maybe if you're not, if you haven't watched that video. Sheet protectors. Your heat transfer, your heat transfer vinyls. HTV. When you're doing shirts, if you're doing an event and you're pressing shirts on the spot and you're pressing vinyl and you don't want to cut at the event, bring this. Cut your vinyls, weed them out ahead of time, check and make sure. Look, I mean, I have, so on here I fit three designs. These are simple. So this is about, um, this is eight and a half, eight and a half by 11. Why? I should have, I should have known that by now. Eight and a half by eleven because this is a sheet protector, and a standard sheet is eight and a half by eleven. So forget what I just clip out the stupid parts. This fit three different shirt designs on an eight and a half by eleven, which means this. Let's just say that we're doing it like this, like vinyl. So your mat, excuse the vinyl that's on here already. Oh, it makes it actually look great because you can have a dark background, but. So you're using this much vinyl to do three shirts, but when you're doing bigger designs like this one that I just showed you earlier, you're taking up like the same size. So it just depends. So I like to have, am I messing this up? Um, I like to have enough vinyl on hand so it you, you just can't predict like how am I gonna predict what I need I'm just gonna be cutting like crazy this weekend I I don't have time to be like well if I sell x amount of shirts at this amount of design times three inches divided by 12 feet like what am I am I Einstein like I can't I cannot predict the future I don't know who's gonna order and I don't want to do too much of one design and then like, this is going to freaking sell. I All right. Who's ready to start panicking? So, I just got the email from Transfer Express. And two-day air should be... I understand business days, right? However, I just... I know UPS runs on Saturdays, so what's the, like, we're just going to keep positive because I, I feel like it's coming Monday. Something just says, you know what, it's coming Monday or late Monday or super early Tuesday morning. Anyway, even if it comes Tuesday, we can spend all night Tuesday and I mean, it, not all night. It's not going to take, they're, they're transfer sheets. Why am I stressing out? They're in sheet form. The thing I'm stressing out about is testing the logo on, I, I mean, I could test it on this. I don't have it on this yet. So I'll probably test, um, and you're not supposed to do this kind of stuff on shirts that have been washed with like fabric softener or basically anything. Like don't, I, I don't know. I feel like that's what I've heard and said. You can do it, but I think you just are not supposed to use that like really strong smelling like soften, softener and, and bleach and stuff. But anyway, um, so that, so Transfer Express is saying that it's not coming, um, that I can track it probably by tonight or tomorrow. 
and then I'll know more. Like, I think it, he'll give me an estimate. But I feel like they waited till the end of the day to ship my stuff. Like, like, uh, I keep saying like, but it's just driving me crazy with all these things. Have a little bit of customer service, you know? Let me know what's going on. Two day air seems to just be like two days in the air. So if you shipped it today, wouldn't the plane be flying? What is the plane is going to take a break? Like, where is it coming from? Is, are the plane, let me not even think too far into it. Planes can travel for like hours over water. And if you can't make it from like Oklahoma or wherever, I don't even know where they're located. I just know they're in a different time zone to here in one day. I'm done. Okay. And I probably just showed this card on camera. So clip that out. If I did, I, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. So my husband called me. I have to book him a spot. I'm doing that right now. Um, that comes first. So we're taking care of that. Like a typo. Huh. And yeah, so it's fixed and he's ready. Supposed to be ready. And he should make it down here by, he stays in Georgia tonight. Well, wait, why the heck is he staying? Let's get the eye in the sky on this one. We like spying. No, I don't. Clearly, if I have to open it up, I'm not spying on it. Um, let me just book this because I forget and then so I'm so sorry for the yawning that that is that's gonna definitely gonna be part of um bloopers or clips or like maybe even like an entire yawning video and just do like I don't know me yawning for three hours don't they do that kind of stuff where they put stuff on loop and then you just sit here and watch it and I'm not logged in to keep trucking so a second but if he's driving all the way from kansas city kansas city to georgia is how many hours why are we booking a spot is he even gonna make it there that late that early i mean even if it's 10 i don't know how many hours it is it's 10 okay. we're gonna look we are going to look but anyways i think i was saying something i was probably on a rant when my when I got the phone call in like I always am and oh, I was talking about these things and how so much vinyl I was talking about this when I got the phone call this um I like big there we go see the guy I like big guts and I cannot lie so tell me why my son he's 11 but he knows about Trump said why do you have Trump on your shirt and I said that's not Trump that's a truck driver it's a truck driver where do you get that it's a Donald Trump oh because the hat so apparently the this symbol looks like Trump what do you think it's it wasn't intended and the, the dude looks naked I mean I guess because it's in silhouette form. It was in silhouette form when I got the SVG file. I don't know. And where is the I in I? The dot. See the dot in the I is missing. Right here where my mouth is. It's supposed to be an I. A dot. And we're missing it. And that's the kind of stuff. See how it says lie with a dot? With a dot above it? This I doesn't have it. This is why... So I had him working on these and I said, you need to be really careful when you're weeding the vinyl because tiny letters are gonna dis like, they're gonna find their way um, 
We're going to stick to something. You're going to lose them. Why does everything have to be so perfect? Well, I mean, because I'm selling it. It's not just a shirt for you. It's not just a shirt for me. I'm not wearing it. You're not wearing it. Somebody is paying money. And if I got a shirt that was missing a dot on an eye, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd make a huge deal, but you will have those people who are going to be like, her quality of shirts and designs suck. And I don't want that. So yes, everything has to be perfect when it comes to stuff that we're giving to people. Especially a shirt is something that you wear. Like it kind of represents you in a way and you don't want to be wearing something that just looks half-assed. So that's why. I need to go back and fix those. So definitely um, looking through these at some point and editing and revising. I don't know. It, it's really easy. Like I can, I can cut that out myself. But the whole point of what I was trying to say with this is look at how much space this takes up on a shirt. I like big guts and I cannot lie. It takes up eight and a half by 11 basically space which means you're eating up this much vinyl and I'm only putting it here so that you can see that this is 12 by 12 so this is one foot by one foot so if I'm ordering a 10 foot roll of vinyl it's standard 12 inches so it's a foot wide if I'm ordering 12 feet long and I'm doing 10 of these I'm only getting 10 shirts out of an entire roll so I don't know how many of these big guts shirts that I'm going to have um, cut out or printed. It's not all going to be white. So I have black. I'm going to do glow in the dark. I'm going to do, um, what was the other thing? White, black, glow in the dark. I mean, hello, like I can even do the glitter vinyl. So I'm going to bring stuff like that with me. But if people want to, um, I, I just don't know how it's going to work. Should I bring it with me? I'm going to bring my Cricut, but should I bring all my different vinyls if somebody wants to do like a custom order on the spot? Maybe. Maybe. But they're going to have to wait. It's going to have to be like, okay, sure. Like, do you have 20, 30 minutes? I can get this for you. I've got to help this customer and that customer. And then I'm going to set your stuff to cut. And as soon as it's done cutting, I'm going to put it on the, um, I'll press it on the shirt for you. But you have to give us time. You have to come back. We don't have it in stock. And that's two options. You can either sit here and wait or place the order online, just like you do anything else custom. Place the order online and I'll ship it to you when I come home Monday. That's it. Simple. I can't be stressing. And if they can't wait, they don't really want it. Period. I, I have a shirt. Do I still have that shirt? I think I do. And it was a great shirt. It's still a great shirt. But yeah, that's for my smaller days. That's for when I was a kid. What was I going to say? Well, let me show you. I'm going to turn this around because I don't remember what clips I got. I haven't made any, posted any. But we are officially on the site. Can you check it out? Can you check it out? We're right here. We're right here. We are on the site. We're ready to go. We're panicking. And I don't know. Let's see. So the cart's going from $224 down to, actually, I think that is what it went down to. That's embarrassing. Let me show you what I'm getting. This is based off the conversation I had with, well, myself last night, but I was talking to the camera. We are not doing, no longer doing the rose gold because we can't find what we need. So I'll make this quick. We're doing gold. We're getting 160 pieces of a variety of colors that we can use to finish those keychains. We are getting the same thing for the silver. We are ordering more of these in different shapes. So I have the, still, this is the two shapes I have now. I'm getting those. A few hearts come with it some rectangles, some squares. Well, diamonds, I guess, because they hang that way. We are doing um, this set here because I just can't find, like, I, I need more circles. And why not if it's going to come with these already? Doesn't that make sense? I don't want to buy 300 circles by themselves because then I'm, I need more keychains, right? So anyway, we're doing that. Um, these come with rings. These come with, I just find it easier when it comes with rings. We are doing the dark blue aka navy permanent vinyl oracle 651 glossy we are doing this to hold the bracelets and the fuzzy keychains and the space keychains and all those we are doing this to hold the hats we are getting more glow in the dark permanent vinyl because it wound up being amazing amazing this one doing more of that because i want to do some decals with it 
and we're doing this permanent vinyl which is pink so see how this is this is the the real color right, right now and pink this is the real color right also if i can do some keychains in this and it's gl gonna glow in the dark in this hot.com don't go to that website because i don't know what it is i'm just saying it that's our thing this one oracle 651 glossy permanent vinyl for decals whatever whatever we need it um keychains and stuff so that doesn't glow that's just normal the thing that gets me is like why is this hole so big it's only 10 feet make the roll smaller and it makes it just is a lie it's just a lie and i don't like it eight jumbo storage bags so this is to put all the t-shirts in suck the air out of it and be able to put it in the car without feeling like it's taking over everything and blocking from us getting more stuff in the tent i mean in the car this i saw i might do offer like um you know put the paint swatch here let me just show you this this idea isn't that great these are i think these are maybe a different size but i'm okay with that i can find where is the other this person has different ones so the thin thin one maybe i can use this one on that but guess what that file is only four bucks on creative fabrica i think i already showed you this i need to stop repeating myself Let's go back to Amazon. So more of these keychains. Those are only in silver. We're not making a big deal. This one is going to be the black 12 by 25. This one's going to be the white 12 by 25. Both of them matte white, matte black. I can't do the shiny. The shiny looks so friggin' shiny that I actually have a shirt I can show you that I made custom for my husband with the joker on it. I know this is like a family friend, family friendly channel, so I'm not going to show you the front where, <laughs> where the front is because it's got curse words, but look, I made this, this is a great shirt, but the glossy part is a little bit too, too much. Look, it says I'm not heartless. I just learned to use my heart less. Can you see the shine? It's like so shiny. And I don't, I'm not crazy about it. It's very plasticky feel. I want something that feels a little more natural. And the ones that I've been making since I bought matte black and matte white, they are a lot more natural feel. Remember this great shirt? Maybe I can get some shimmer shimmer view. Ooh, see the light hitting it? great shirt and it matches my pink i'm obsessed sabrina stop me like your merch 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 everything is merch all you care about is your merch you just want to sell things and make things and not have a social life and no friends and sit in the dark and just do random stuff i'm gonna convert this selfie stick into a selfie stick and get it off tripod mode because i don't know if my neighbors are all watching so I'm going to pretend like I'm talking on the phone. Oh my balls. Look. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is, what is, what is that? Mama Duke, we to link up. Mama Dukes, we need to link up tomorrow. Psych. So many, you see? My neighbors are coming home. Let me, let me turn this around. Of course they are. I don't want them to know that there's a famous YouTuber that lives next to them. Like, why would I? People are, people are gonna come asking for my autograph. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. This is what happens when, when there's no, when when you don't have adult interaction. Like, when every day you're just sitting here talking to yourself. These are so heavy. All three boxes today. Yes. I feel like it's Christmas. What is this? Oh. This is hamster food. This is for Dorothy. Okay. 
So we're gonna go outside, but we're not gonna be like super tacky. Because I do look tacky. Oh wait, the trash has to go out tomorrow. I feel like the trash just, wasn't I just doing vlogging when the freaking, um, we did get some mail. And it's trash. Oh, by the way, I don't want to, do I want to show you my address? I don't. But, I do custom, my neighbor's looking at me. <laughs> Pete, why do people do this? And you know what? I don't blame them because I always look at people like, oh, you're vlogging. You think you're so freaking cool. What is so important that you need to show the whole world? But this order, they better start guessing. Keep them guessing is what I say. We're going to do an unbox with me. More like an open the box with me. I'm not freaking taking them out. The shirts, shirts, shirts. Look. <laughs> Who is going to fold? Come help me fold. Anyway. Dorothy's food came too. From Walmart. Mimi. 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 Hey. Mimi. I'll take it to the office. Mimi. I'm going to leave those there. Desiree's coming. Why do you look like that? All right, go, go, go. What are you eating? What are you eating? Of course you are. I don't know why I asked. All right, spice up your life. Um, not the whole thing, you're not. Okay, we're gonna do an unboxing. We're not gonna do an unboxing. We're just gonna do a feed with me. Feed the hamster with me. What? We're both on already. Okay. We're gonna do a feed. Feed the hamster with me. Dorothy, come on out, come on out. She's gonna smell it, and it's gonna smell great. Oh wow, those pellets are huge. Does she eat? She's gotta, she's gotta eat those, right? Hey, where's she at? She's definitely not in her crusty tubes because they're dirty. Let's go, time for dinner. Where are you at? Are you in your tube? I just swear I don't know where she's at half the time. That smells really bad. We're really gonna need to clean that up a notch. Dorothy. Dorothy. Dorothy? Oh, there she is. Hey, what up? What up, Dorothy? Stop, you're gonna scare her. Look, how excited. Do you love your unboxing? Unbox with me. What did they call it? And you see? Go grab the broom, please. Thank you. She's probably like, why are you in my business? Oh my, that is like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, I talk about fanning. Can you fan out over hamsters? Mm -hmm. What do you call it? Fans? F fanster? I'm a fanster. She like, it's like she can tell she's on camera. She's being super photogenic. I mean, obviously not now. Their back turned to me, but. All right, Dorothy. Later. Hi, it's currently, I don't think I said this, Desiree's coming over and this channel's real, right? So I can just tell you guys, I am not, she said, are you gonna, she said, how do you like your shirts? I told her I got the shirt order in because yes, we talk 10,000 times a day. So I already told her I got my shirts. So 
And that was like 10 minutes ago. So that's that's how close we are right now. Um, so she said, how do you like your shirts? I'm like, I didn't open them because I want to do an unboxing slash checking to make sure that everything came in right and the quality. So just doing a little quality control. Spend a little quality time with those shirts and doing a little controlling. And putting it in the um, Google Sheet that I told you about before, which, hey, like maybe this will be a video in itself and just um, showing you how I'm tracking my inventory. I'm not trusting Etsy to do that because I'm not. Because Etsy can cut you off whenever they feel like it. And if that's the only place that you're keeping your inventory checklist is based off what they show, don't. Do your own thing off the platform, do it. Do ne never think that another platform is gonna 1000% um, keep track of all your stuff, just don't. So enough of that. Um, so yeah, the shirts came in, you saw me bring them in and I, what was I saying? Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't saying because my neighbors were, both of my neighbors were outside. It's like six o'clock rolls around and everybody's like, take your trash cans out, check your mailbox. I'm coming home from work. Like, and I don't want them to feel like, no, I don't care what they feel like. I don't want them to keep staring at me. That's all. Because we're, we're doing stuff, we're getting stuff done. You don't need to be looking at me. So, especially because if I blow up big, well, I just don't have time for it. So, who cares? I'm just talking a bunch of crap. I, I don't know if I'm going to blow up big or not. If I get one subscriber to my YouTube channel, I'll be happy. So anyway, I was saying that I offer mailbox decals. Okay, mailbox decals. So that is one of the things I need to perfect that listing. I have one listing up there, but I don't know what, I feel like my style changes every day. Like I have a different style every day, a style of like what I wanna show and then I do it and it doesn't match the same style that I did on other stuff and it's not cohesive and it looks stupid. So if I do mailbox decals, like I did, I redid our mailbox decal because I saw it I looked at it one day and I was like, what is that? They are from Home Depot probably, I can't remember. They, So it's just the stickers with the, the numbers of the whatever. And they just looked weird. So, and they were crumbling and cracking and peeling. They're meant for outdoor, but they've been there forever. So more than five years. So they definitely need to be changed out. I mean, this Oracle Permanent Vinyl only when I say only five years is a long time, but like five to t five to six years and then it'll start eventually like deteriorating and that's what's happening. So, um, I replaced them and I put, I, I didn't want to show you because I'm not going to show you my address, even though like, whatever, it's never hard to find people. But, um, yeah, I just, when I, when I redid ours, I, so when you, when you redo things, right? Like we got a new roof, I don't know how many years ago. Whenever we got a new roof on our house, you you look, it, it's like the, everybody else's roof all of a sudden is like grabbing your attention because you focus on your roof for so long, you learned about it and you this, and then now every roof you see, you're like judging it. Like they need to fix their roof or their roof is dirty or like, you know, so when I um, changed the mailbox out however many years ago, Everybody, it's like everybody started upgrading their mailboxes. So I don't know if it's the same thing for everybody. They're like, oh, well, my neighbor changed it. So it's like our neighbors, then they immediately changed it. But I did it the right way. And I did it by myself. I was so proud of myself. Women can do anything that men can do for the most part. So I dug the, um, well, I, I took out the rotting. Ours was rotting and falling apart. And the mailman said, if you don't, take your mailbox up off the fr off the ground. I can't deliver your mail. Like I'm in my mail truck. I can't get out and bend down because your box is on the floor. So we had to change it out. And that's when we got the, um, the, the numbers for the mailbox from Home Depot. And that's why they're crumbling because it was so long ago. Anyway, when I'm assuming that when we changed ours, that other people, like our neighbors directly next to us, 
got a very similar mailbox. I don't know why. It's like, I want to be like them. I don't know. They probably were like, oh, that looks cool. Like, that's original. Or that that's not even original. You can get it from Home Depot. We got it from Home Depot. So you it's a plastic mailbox. And you, you get your 2x4 or whatever it is, the mailbox post. And then you slide. Like, you just pop that mailbox, the, the thing over the post. And done. Like, it was... I don't want to say it was super easy. The hard part was digging out the old mailbox and all the cement that was in there, the wood had rotted away. And then mixing the new cement and pouring it in. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't even think I used a bucket. I like, I'm pretty sure I poured the cement in the hole and mixed it in the ground with some water and let that crap set. So that was that. The whole point of what I'm saying is that... When I, I just recently changed our decals and I feel like that's the time that I should have promoted myself and said, Hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like I offer this service and, and who knows, like the people right next to me, they could want t-shirts. They could want keychains. They could want a new, like, like I said, I wanted to do, um, storefront signage, like vinyl decal signage for windows and stuff. And who knows, they might want that but when my neighbor not the neighbor with the new mailbox the neighbor with the crunchy mailbox their numbers they're missing so our numbers are our mailbox numbers have four numbers they're missing two of the four so it's like how to like whatever I just think I could get a lot of business off of that so when the time comes we are gonna blow it up this year when I get my listing finally up there and I get the vinyls that I actually want to carry in my shop, the colors, the um, type, like, you know, for most permanent permanent vinyls, it's gonna be that glossy, like that outdoor one is gonna be the glossy permanent vinyl, Oracle 651, pretty sure that's all that um, they consider permanent outdoor use. Like the glittery and the matte finish and all that is not really gonna be um, meant for outdoors. You can use it, but it's not gonna last as long. So. I'm done talking about that. Desiree is um, supposed to be coming over and maybe she'll help me count the shirts. I know she has a lot to do. So if we have time, maybe I can help her do what she has to get done. And then we move on to what I need to get done. But priority right now is not taking those shirts out and counting those. Like if it was me alone and like she wasn't coming over, I wouldn't even be thinking about doing an unboxing right now, much less an inventory and a video and like all that. I, it just wouldn't work out. So I am going to place this finally, finally place this order. Um, I went over everything. It's going to be those two 25 foot rolls, one white, one black, the keychains, glow in the dark vinyls, some permanent vinyls, the hat rack, the jewelry, lazy Susan spinning necklace tree. That's what it's called a tree display stand. That is a spinner, three tier, two slash three tier countertop spinner rack. So for everybody who doesn't know what that name is, it's just a jewelry spinning necklace display stand tree. That's what they call it. I believe she's here. I believe she's here. And we're trying to document everything. Oh, everything on oh, everything. And if I don't, you gotta hold me accountable. Yep, the week up. Back away! And the queen is exiting! In the dark. Let's give her the grand old entrance. Woo! Huh? Why is my light flickering? The queen has arrived. Who is that? Oh, you need me to help you. Hold on. We gotta help. Huh? It's already flickering. I've gotta bring her stuff. Open the the uh, turn the light on in the inside. Cause I said I'm trying to tell the camera we're trying to record everything for the next two, five, five, four days. How many days? Huh? <laughs> I, I don't know why I have a country accent. Okay, it's really dark. No, I, I was trying to tell the camera that we're trying to record the last two days. Oh.
Yeah, I'll try to Don't. Catch. We want Cammy to zoom in on her address. Oh, knock it out. <laughs> and then this I'm doing orange slicing lemon lime chopping. And so, this is for a charter. In the morning. La <laughs> So yeah, this is a secret. prep the charter with me, prep the luxurious um, charter with me. And then I think these are three gallons, no, three, isn't it might be a gallon, oh yeah, this is a gallon. You sure, so, I don't, you sure it's a gallon? I think it's a gallon. Either a gallon and a half. Point is, two sangrias for tomorrow, one is a peach, I thought mine was bad. Uh. No, I'm telling my all my followers. I told them <laughs> that that I thought I was bad in mine. Uh. This is. I'm gonna insert right here a clip of what we I looked like last night. <laughs> we need to play some music. We don't want to get copyright. But Dexter Daps and like I don't know, maybe Dexter Daps will actually reach That's out to us. Crazy. What if he finds our channel? And then he's like, "These what girls are doing? lit." What time, it is? time for you to get a watch. Where's your? Don't you have a watch on? You have a. This girl. It's eleven fifty three. Why the hell is the timer? Because it's almost midnight. I don't know. I need to get it together because I got a lot of stuff to do. I got over a hundred pieces of items. <laughs> I can't take these years though. Try it on. Are these lobsters? I have over a hundred items to start tagging. And I we gotta get it together. To finish tonight. Tonight, tonight. In the words of great people, tonight, tonight. Those. That's snacks. super urgent. Today, today. today. That but, was but, the exact word. okay, but we're not trying to copy oh, okay. what people say because then that's not, that's not original content. Yeah, I. Tonight, tonight. I need to, um. And actually, Insert a clip here. Whoever the hell's editing, insert a clip of when he goes da 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 tonight tonight yada 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 tonight. SpongeBob has it tonight tonight. <laughs> what? <laughs> you ain't helping me at all, enough. Not even one bit. Where's SpongeBob? Like struggling enough. With all this energy, and I just like. Try to hey, ladies, it. da da da. No, we gotta get up. We gotta. I need. I need that gigantic hula hoop that we can just put her in, spin her around. Light her oh, up. Yeah, you want a sword fight? Sword fight! No, we can't break any more merch. We're gonna do it. We're gonna tag stuff. We're gonna be amazing. I'm gonna go to bed. Hey! Psych. <laughs> All of the good stuff. This girl is forever with her dry croutons. I can't manage. Yo. Crispy listen. as L. I can check in in a little bit. <clears throat> what is that? Check. <laughs> that Cheers. video was three minutes. That video was three minutes. Yeah. What the hell we were doing for three minutes? I was zooming in on you, zooming in, in your own eye. I gotta edit that. Mm -mm. We don't have time for that. It's unedited, oh, uncut, raw, and real. I need to find my glasses. I haven't seen my glasses since last year. Right now? No, I mean like in general. These contacts getting wary. You want my Hubble contacts? I didn't open the box. What? What prescription? <laughs> you can get free trial from Hubble. Hubble and... I'm not a Hubble affiliate, by the way. Wait, you got... I'm just propping it up. It's recording. But I only have 39 minutes left until the camera's full. And then I have to start a new video, and then it'll tell me I have, like, 12 minutes. And then I can start another one. We gotta get together. It shouldn't take us more than three hours to do this. <laughs> more than... I've never seen her like this because me in my worst moments, I feel like this is the real deal. When it comes to this, uncut, uncut, uncut no unedited. filter, no filter, no filter. Like this is, I don't know.
don't even know what to call this. Exhausting. This is a prep with me. Prep pack. Oh, I'm showing the oh, my fans my backdrop. <laughs> what backdrop? <laughs> my garage door, aka the in-law suite. <laughs> <laughs> aka tent storage man cave okay i'm losing it i'm wasting battery and i'm wasting stuff so we're gonna play some music we don't want to play dexter daps and then wind up getting copyright and sued by the popular jamaican reggae artist i don't know what he goes by but we don't want to get sued by him but we wouldn't mind if he performed at our tent march 13th 12th and 13th booth 87 dexter daps you're welcome to come and Johnny Depp and all the other people I named. You say the stickers don't fit. I'm done. Goodbye. I'm gonna have to um. Whoever's editing this, one of my um staff members. I'm gonna need you to just get put some music over this because you know we don't get it. Want to get copyright? Got a game of Uno playing here. I'm not gonna zoom on your leg or anything. Wait, you think his leg? Well, cause I he just wait. Who, who can they last? Oh, we can stand over. Look. Look, shuffle over the cat. Why is it so tabby? They look so great. This is the journey. I feel like I feel like I'm on a weight loss journey and I'm failing. I'm on a journey. Okay. What are the what are the cool people say when they say they're on a journey? I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a a, a pack with me right here. Followers. <laughs> Where is your drink? Do you see this? Is that your first drink? She's failing at life at this point. I'm really upset. We need to have this.
Terry truck Why did you get me on the Okay, stove. Are you an appliance? I'm here. I'm relaxing. She's like, ah, oh, no, I'm Mrs. Iglesias. I'm ready to go. <laughs> 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 I love it. I, I never get tired of watching you. Hey, Leah, I know you miss your mom, and I know you miss your dad, but I'm gone. I'm trying to give you the life that I never had. I can see you sad. We are still working, and Desiree's still. I'm, I thought you were on. You sure you're not on your second one? Oh, you have it there. I didn't see it in there. We got my keychain. Her Canva. What do you call? We got a new Canva, right? Shout out to Canva. Hashtag Canva. If you want your stuff branded, call DK Chains because she did a great job. Except the QR stickers were crap because they were too big. here with shit o'clock <laughs> it is wait we always do this we beat the clock we beat it it is not yet 2 a.m the party is still happening all right guys i am in the process of making two different sangrias for tomorrow's chattel boat chattel and they're gonna go in these two punch dispensers so Continue watching. So we're taste testing. Damn. On camera. And she's failing. Alright, guys. Now for the brand banana. Cha cha cha. Cha chi cha you first. Cheers. 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 Ooh. That's great. This is good. That's a great drink. This is peach o'clock. 
Okay, so this is a peach sangria. So the base is peach snack. Get into it. Jeez. <laughs> you gotta do it. <laughs> Learn from the best. Then we going in with some white cranberry peach juice. That was supposed to happen. What? Loving that color. Loving that color. And then, and all of this is eyeball, guys. I am balling like it. All the time, <laughs> so I, I just got a sense of like when to stand and stop. So, and then this is the peach Moscato Aramis that goes in. And then some more white cranberry peach to top it off. And then we chill overnight. And then in the morning, we add ice and serve with fresh raspberries, peach slices, and strawberry slices. So this is sangria number one. You can handle the video. So Pat, this and the, the other juice is mango twist. So half and half. And then we're going to use the original real sangria as the alcohol. And then we're going to add some grenadine to add color and a little sweetness to top it and mix it all together. But first, sample. Yes. All right. Oh my God, did that get mid yawn? That's so gross. I am definitely going to have to, um, and I said this earlier, I was going to move my videos from the phone to the USB and then to the, well, I'll do the phone to the USB overnight and then, um, because it needs to charge a little bit. I don't think it will do it. Um, it's saying that I only have 20 minutes to record. I don't have 20 minutes of information to give you right now. So Desiree was here. We, um, worked on some of the tagging for the products for the seafood. But what is this? Is that a bug? Like what is happening guys? What is this? Is that a bug? It, like, I don't, it ha it's a bug. Like, it has eyes, right? Am I the only one that's seeing this? It looks scary, and it looks like it's going to take off. It's definitely a bug, but I don't know why it's just hanging out. I'm going to leave it there, because I'm not trying to touch it, and then have it, like, fly off and then disappear, like, get in my hair. I don't know. So, we're going to leave uh, whatever that is. Like, he looks like a, like an airplane. Anyway, the things that I notice. So this office is a disaster. Like I, I say that every night. I say that every night and then I say I'm going to fix it. And anyway, so I was working on things before she came over and then, um, we found, oh my God, I have to show you these like great finds. I told you it's not going to be a 20 minute vlog because I can't, I can't do this for 20 minutes. I'm so tired. It's 2.30. 2.30 in the morning. How many mornings are we going to do this? I know we're desperate and we need to finish, but I'm going to update you a little bit on what we did. These are a freaking win. Win, 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 win. So we have two coral ones, two white ones, and two gold ones. I have a feeling... Oh, wait. And we have this one down here. So I have a feeling that they did some kind of... um. When I say they... I mean the neighbors, the neighbors next door because, well, across the street. So like she pulled up and I went outside to 
meet her and realized what are those and like I no I didn't even know that that's I'm um, uh, that's a lie I went outside to help her bring stuff inside because she brought so much stuff over for a charter that she's working on or going on tomorrow and it's a special charter that she's doing DK Kane's charter and she's um was preparing like the drinks and platters and she's got like all kinds of crazy stuff going on um super luxurious events so when I I remember what it was we had to go get supplies to make the drinks um she brought some over but we needed some more let me grab my selfie stick because I'm cool um yeah so she came over and we started talking about stuff. I think we started looking at stuff and then we said let's go to the store so we got, as we were getting in my vehicle to go to the store, I looked across the street and I'm like, what are those great things? Those are in really good shape. Like, I don't, look at them. Like, look up close. This one might be, that's busted right there in the front, but who that cares? It's free. And there's a tablecloth. Like, we are doing tropical vibes anyway. So this just makes sense. That just makes sense. Look at all this stuff. This is the, so the only thing that I have to do for a lot of this stuff here is price it. And I don't know yet how I want it to look. Do I want to do a single sign that says bracelets, uh, whatever, whatever, two for whatever, or, you know, one for something. I don't know. You guys have seen the koozies already. They're all stacked up in here. I'm probably going to do just a clothespin, um, and hang them from like a string from the tent. That'll be kind of cool. I did have my decals here and I don't want to get carried away. After thinking about it, I'm going to take my favorite designs and I'm going to make more of them, but in the glow in the dark vinyl. That's it. I don't want to get carried away with decals because why? Because they can place the order online, said and done. Or if they want to wait for them, then they can wait for them. So I don't like, I'm sorry about blind, the blinding light. I just wanted the light. It's dark outside, obviously. Um, so I wanted to have the, like, decal options. Um, so I might cut, like, maybe I'll just put some, per I still have that permanent vinyl coming in that I ordered today. That's not coming in till like, anytime between Sunday and Tuesday. I am not going to focus on, I need to print decals, and I don't even have the rest of my shirt vinyls cut. Tomorrow is cutting the rest of the stuff for the keychains that are set to arrive between Tuesday and, and what am I saying, D Sunday and Tuesday, and then sending the t-shirt vinyls and the hat vinyls, hat vinyls first and t-shirt vinyls to cut. And I'm going to cut as many as I can on those glow in the dark vinyls. I have to, I have to. And when I say as many as I can, as many as I think I'm going to need, like that I'm going to sell of that design. If, if it's an awesome design, which they all are, but like there's some that I know are going to be flying off the shelf and I need to make way more of those than of the other ones. And then if I have to cut on the spot, I'm going to cut on the spot. And they're just going to have to wait. We've already talked about this. You either place the order throughout, through the thing um, through online or you wait for it. If not, then you don't get anything. But listings are a huge thing. With the Etsy and Square integration, if I do not set up the Etsy listings for my custom stuff, I'm going, like, they're not going to be able to, it's just not going to count. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. If anything, that's just going to run through Square, but I don't, I want it to run through Etsy and I want it to count as a sale. So like on like a Etsy sale. So let me just show you. Here's the rest of the stuff. I just showed you this. So then we've got the fanny packs. We have very few of these, but they are great. And I've been, I was started stuffing like one, but I have a ton of this paper. So I'm probably going to, um, I wonder if black I don't like this the paper inside of here I think is brown so it's looking a little dingy but guys this I mean originally I wanted to put a decal like but it's too bumpy you know this material it just I can't guarantee it's gonna stick there is very few like I said I want to say there's a total of six yes then we have the glow sticks so we have to price the fanny packs the glow sticks the umbrella hats the why am I losing my brain? Drawstring bags. Yes, these are all drawstring bags. Then we have so much 
glow in the dark and not just glow in the dark, light up stuff. We're going to have a disco ball. We tested that out and that is great. That is going to look so good. There's 30 of these. So I had opened one of these bags. There was 10 in that. There's another 20. There's a 30. This here's the beer openers, bottle openers. What are they called? Bottle openers. So we have the bottle openers. We have these glow sticks. I'm not going to take them out. Glow sticks. We have these, um, what are they, wands? I can't, fiber optic wands, I think is what they're called. Fiber optic wands. They are great also. These are going to be so fun for the kids. So fun. I have my tote bags. So of those, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, which I think six is not enough, but it's what we have. Oh, and the hats are hiding down here. I've showed you the hats the other day. I believe there's 12. Then we have the light up shot glasses. I think there's, it says 24 on here, but I don't know why I thought I count, counted 26 the other day. That's fine. Um, I, those are just like shirt labels. So I have to label my shirt sizes. Then the rest of the stuff, we kind of tried to tidy up a bit. Um, get the supplies that I, it's, everything is put away, but we were tagging. I was helping her with this. Just move over um, to make the backing cards look the same. You don't want the backing cards to look different. So hanging them all on the same backing cards, um, which are these. I'm sure she can link it in the description of my video. Like, I'm not going to link these because I didn't use them. She did. So she can use them. Jumbo. Jumbo? Jumbo ear. I don't know what they're selling. It says... Juvali earring cards, 200 pack earring card holder. Okay, that's it. We have a tablecloth. We have a ton of stuff. I don't know how we're going to fit all this now that we are not getting the RV. Um, more stuff in here. She's got to get these, um, these hats. Like, basically, we were going over how are these items going to be displayed. I don't know if we finalized anything. We have... A lot of things and then I have like the jewelry stand I want to go to Dollar Tree tomorrow and get something to put my custom keychains in because that rack that I'm buying the jewelry spinning whatever that's coming I think it's only gonna fit the bracelets and the fuzzy keychains I don't know if it's gonna fit mine because I'm gonna have a lot so I need to I need to go to Dollar Tree and see what I can find tomorrow my son wants to go to Dollar Tree too, so that's kind of like our thing. Like he likes to, everything's a dollar, so like he wants to buy a bunch of stuff. So he's got the green light card, so hey, spend what you're going to spend. Not really. Like I, he has to have limits, but if he wants to buy something, um, you know, snacks, whatever, that's fine. But if you're going to buy toys, you better pull out that card, boy. So we got like stuff like this. They can just be used underneath something like that basket. Everything is just boho chic. And I'm sure I've said this to you before. She's got some display stuff here. I mean, she's really good at this stuff. I don't even, I wouldn't even know. I would look at this in the store and be like, I don't even know what that is. But she can look at something and just say, yeah, we can turn it into this. Like, she could turn everything on this to a freaking bicycle and we'd ride it down the dang street. Why? Because there's two wheels on it. And somehow she'd turn it into a bike and I'd wind up riding it down the road because she's very resourceful. So tomorrow, I'm so sorry, Sunday, this, that is going to be a task in itself. So I ordered, um, what is it called? The shoot space saver bags, not that brand, but it's basically space saver. To fit all these things. Tomorrow, maybe. I, I don't think so. I think I'm going to wait for her. Because this was a huge project for me last time. Folding alone is like the most daunting task. And I should have bought off of Amazon that dang folding. It's probably too late. It's not going to get here by tomorrow. I mean, by Sunday. Maybe it will. It's like a t-shirt folding helper, basically. But you know what? 
<gasps> I've seen people do it with cardboard and I have so much cardboard because we have boxes everywhere. So maybe I'll take some of the cardboard from these boxes and make one and we can just fold, fold, fold and get like crazy folding instead of doing it by hand. I just can't think, I, I, my brain can't process that. Like, that is double the amount of t-shirts that I folded last time. And last time, I died and felt like I was never going to be resuscitated. So, we never got to this. That is still sitting there. So, what I told you I was going to do with the letters didn't happen. Because where are we at? Let me just show you. I got nowhere with the Cricut fonts. They suck. So, the plan is do it in Canva. And that's it. Can it out. I just, I don't have the brain power tonight. And I feel like if I wake up tomorrow morning and start fresh and potentially like, why is it saying offline? That's weird. The cricket is offline. I don't know. I think that's the coolest thing. I'm getting sidetracked again. It's like, he's so creative. My son. He's really creative. He made this and he said, mommy, put your finger in the, um, it's like, I can't hold it right, maybe. Maybe I'm not holding it right. But, yeah, I guess it is. He's like, oh, hold, like, here. Spin, and then, like, game over button. It, I guess it's a gun. I don't know, but it's like, trigger, trigger, trigger. Okay, well, it is a gun. So... But it's really cute. Like, he's super creative with this kind of stuff. I, I've never seen something for him to think of that. It's just cute when they make stuff and it's like, where did you think of that? But, um, yeah, so definitely want to take some time also to be able to, like, enjoy the weekend with him. Because a lot of the time, I am stuck in the office. And you see my eyes? Does anybody else have trouble, like... Staying in a good mood, like when they have so much stuff happening and going on and even especially if deadlines or something. I remember when I was in school and in my master's program and I was pregnant. I was pregnant when I was doing my master's and I, it was rough. So that meant like I had him. So I had him and I wasn't done yet with my master's. Right, because I started in 2009. I didn't graduate with my master's until 2012. So he was two years old when I graduated. So that stage between the time of birth and two years old, like, that's very stressful. So, and just time has just flown by. Like, I can't even, I, I remember what it felt like in, between working, raising a baby, and going to school, and both of us were going to school. My husband and I, we're going to the same school. We had like some of the same classes and it's just, that was, if I can get through that, I can get through a freaking seafood festival where, and my kid is 11. He's old enough to help me. So I have to keep thinking like, there's so many people out there that do way bigger things than you. And this one simple event and you're like getting crazy over nothing. It's not nothing. This is huge for me. I don't do this kind of stuff. And like, I just don't. So I am really stepping out and, and I just, I need to give myself grace and just say, take it easy. Like you're doing great. But when I look at this, that stresses me out a lot because this is nowhere near where I wanted to be at. Yes. These vinyls right here, those are going to go on keychains that are not here yet. I can put them on what I have, but I don't have the right tassels and I don't want to make too much of the gold and silver and gold, yada, yada. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm not doing the rose gold anymore. But the point is, like, can we just explain the mess? What's going on? What's going on? What's good? Like, all of this still looks the same for, like, the last three days and, like, maybe worse. I don't even know. So, this is what it's looking like. I like to do a, um, you know... This is what my office looks like before I go to bed type of stuff. Um, my husband's still driving. Super dedicated. Like, like what time? Like, he's going to stop driving at, like, 4 a.m. It's just crazy. So, um, yeah, there's just a lot going on. And I don't want to 
I don't want to disappoint myself. Oh, this is so... I forgot about these. She's been saying we should do some rocks. What is happening? These would be perfect for that. What? No, I need to stop the video and text her. Like, again, yeah, soul sister, soul sister. We're, like, we text each other. I, I, I gotta, I gotta go. Apparently, I just talked the camera's head off because now it's really bad. Like, it's only six minutes left. So, I, I didn't even realize. So, it cut off. So, anyway, I'm just ranting. But I just wanted to say that if I can do it, I don't even know who I am. Like, I don't, I'm not important. Ugh, let me not say that. That sounds really bad. I'm not famous. I'm not a big celebrity. I'm not an influencer. I'm not any of these things that people are like, mm, like, I just, I'm not, I'm not. I'm a normal person with a normal, fa <laughs> normal family, a normal family, like meaning married kid. I, I don't know what else to say. I am not, but like any different than anybody else. And probably way less social than anybody else. So if you're into networking and you can manage to get into a group, like a mastermind group or something like that, to get inspiration, um, I'm going to say her name again because I always talk about her. She wants to do a podcast and I think that would be really cool because clearly I don't have a problem talking. However, when it comes to cameras being on like I wouldn't I don't know if I'd do a tv show now if Ellen called us and was like hey I see that you're doing like heck yeah I'm gonna be on your show what I'm gonna be on your show and I'm gonna play all the games so that's different but as far as putting yourself out there like that was never me and it still really isn't me I'm not a big networking person meaning I have to kind of like vibe with you. Like it has to just be right. Because if it's not, I just feel super uncomfortable and I'd prefer just not to be there. So it, it really like we have to ha we have to click in some sort of fashion. And if we don't, then just terminate the relationship because it's not going to work. When I say relationship, like any like if it's a business relationship or if it's a friendship or if it's a I don't know, like any of anything like I cannot if I feel like, okay, we're going to go into this project, into this project together. And then you're like, eh, 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 like, I don't know. And it's just negative energy or your thoughts are different from mine. And I we're collaborating and that's great. Uh, different thoughts, bouncing ideas off of one another is great. But her and I just, we click and like, I think her ideas are great. I come up with, I, I don't know if she thinks my ideas are great, but if she does, that's great. And even if they're not, if my ideas are kind of like all over the place, she kind of reels me in and she tells me like, well, we can do this and we can do that. And we can make that work. Or we just, we work on it together. Just get it done together. But the whole point of what I'm saying is do not just sit around and waste years by and then realize like, who are you going to blame for that? Who are you going to, oh, well, I worked. Oh, well, I did this. And well, I did that. Yeah. Did you watch Netflix? Did you watch TV for like, you know, every time that you got home after work? Did you sleep in like things that you can control? Wake up early, spend your lunch break doing stuff. I used to do stuff on my lunch break all the time. I used to do side work on my lunch break. So there is no reason for you. It's just, I don't know. I'm just like playing back in my head while I'm here. And it's obviously you can't see it. But the things that my husband and I went through, and I'm sure my parents went through when they were raising us, me and my sister, my sister and I, sorry, she's a teacher and she would be like, that's improper. So my sister and I, um, I'm sure it, it was the same. They had their own struggles too. And you don't know unless, I mean, you're not, you're never going to know. You're never going to experience that same exact thing that they did. So to sum it all up, I'm just here trying to do something and build something for my son and for us as a family because it's hard being self-employed like it really is it I like it I love it but it's not easy it's not because you're you're in charge of yourself you can't go and complain to anybody oh complain to yourself like no you're in charge of everything what are you gonna do uh quit your own job I quit like okay what? Like you're, <laughs> I just can't. I just, 
you can't say I quit because you can't quit yourself. That's stupid. Anyway, this is going on four or five minutes now and then it's going to cut off. So I'm going to get this um, USB right here or the connector. I'm going to get the connector and I don't even know. Oh, the USB is still on the computer. I'm going to get this USB, plug it in and let that baby transfer stuff. It needs to. I need to get it done. We're going to start tomorrow fresh with a fresh roll. I said, this is the second time I said fresh roll. What am I, from the 90s? Yes, I am. I'm proud of it. From the 90s? I am not a 90s baby. Who am I kidding? I am an 80s baby who grew up in the 90s and watched all the great shows and had the great music. These kids nowadays don't know what they're missing. Anyway, I'm closing it up here. Yes, I am closing it up. I am not going to say I'm closing it up and then come back on here in an hour and a half like last night and say, so do you remember that I said I was going to close up the vlog? Well, I didn't like that's unacceptable. I, I just can't do it. So wishing you a good night. If it's nighttime where you're at, if it's not happy morning, great morning. Ting, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.